Hello everyone and welcome back to the latest episode of the R&D Podcast. I am your host, Rachel. And I'm Daya. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about the content that consumes your relationships. It could kill your relationships. We're talking social media, pornography, you name it. If it's provocative, is it impacting your Your relationship? relationship? Yes. I think uh, when it comes to the things that you're looking at, I've noticed that people will actually look at the people that you follow. So for instance, if you're a man, the women, if, if especially this is for the single, single people, people uh, or even married, gosh, because I know that some married people will go on to the profile of your husband to see who he's following all of a sudden. <laughs> and, and, and it's kind of a little bit indicative of whether or not, you know, this could be an issue because if he's, you know, following all the big booby girls, I mean, that's going to be a problem or also... Um, I know that I've talked about this on several other episodes about, you know, a doctor that came on. She was more like a therapist and she was saying something about even consuming, let's just say, pornography that can kill your marriage. And, you know, initially for me, I got to tell you that I thought, how is that possible? I would think that that would make it more spicy and it would be like, oh, you know, we're like, we're kind of daring to have, you know, porn playing as things are happening, right? And it's actually quite the opposite. And I understood her breakdown. And I guess I, what she was saying was that you're not connecting with your partner the way that you should because you're too busy looking at whatever's happening on the screen. So you have this false pretense of this is happening and you're not connecting with your partner. When she said it that way, I was like, ah, that makes sense. And I think a lot of the time, you know, depending on where you're at in your marriage, you might think we need to spice it up. Let's just do this. You know, my neighbor said that this is what helped them. My cousin said this is what helped them. And it's actually quite the opposite, believe it or not. I wonder if it's like you think that maybe people think that by doing these things, it spices things up. But really, it's escapism. And you're actually escaping what the reality. Ha- yeah, instead of instead of leaning in and going, what do I still find beautiful about, about my wife, mm-hmm. or what do I still feel find attractive about, about my, my husband? husband, or what do I enjoy doing with him, or where do I enjoy doing these certain things with him? You know, I will tell you that I've been hearing now coming into you know I'm get, you know getting older. When I was younger, people you know kids talk about certain things and stuff like that, of and course. there's not as many prudes around right and then all of a sudden you come into a certain age and it's you surrounded by people that are like oh i caught him following uh bikini models and i don't know if our marriage is going to survive this and i'm waiting for like the punchline i'm waiting for like like the no they met up kidding or they met up they went on a boat ride boats and hoes and you're like it didn't happen like and then and then and, and, and it's just that and so then I'll have to ask questions and be very like considered and go so what is that I mean to me that's like fantasy land like who cares like they don't really care but I guess that you know in having a woman right you're married right to your okay. husband and let's just say you have no breasts or little breasts right and let's just say you're a very thin person you don't really have nothing much to grab okay as they say And then next thing you know, they're following girls that are more voluptuous. Maybe there's like the booty. Maybe there's the boobs. Maybe Mm. there's this. Then I could see how that woman's like, gosh, well, he's liking women that don't even have anything in common Mm. with me. And I think that that's part of the escapism. I don't know that that necessarily means that they would go, that they're leaving outside the marriage or stepping outside the marriage to go be with women like that. Right. But I don't know. I'm not a psychologist. If I had, I'm I'm not a therapist by no means necessary myself, but I'm saying, you know, this is the oldest time though. I mean, think about the the grandparents of the day, back in the days, or even the dads of back in the days. I mean, they were getting playboy, right? But I think that back in those days, the accessibility to the playmates was probably very, it's probably very unlikely and I think it's like they would look at the picture and go wow she's out in the world somewhere somewhere the chances of him Him having having an opportunity with her her is probably very unlikely so now you fast forward to social media Instagram (laughs) you know TikTok and all these different types of um, apps that you're like well I mean if I follow her there's a possibility that if I should DM her she may reply depending on your profile and so I think that there's a lot of that going on and and I think that you know it's building a lot of insecurity in women especially if you're a woman that maybe when you got married you were thinner and then you had a couple of kids and things shift and change and obviously you don't look like you did in your 20s so now you're insecure and of course you know you have to remember lighting is everything posing a certain way is everything 
perking up certain things is everything. Um, These doing women their makeup are is, doing this for a living. Some it, of them, yes, they are. They're Instagram models. They're, they they're are. doing this for a living. Everything is so choreographed and like curated. Everything is like everything. everything. And yet he, you're at home with your chongo and your flip flops, and you're trying to get fluorescent, fluorescent lighting. And the fluorescent lighting, yes. And you know <laughs> things don't look right. And of course, there's filters. Let's not talk about that because <laughs> that'll even give you like a whole ass lip filler, <laughs> yeah. eyebrow lift. I mean, you go. Through surgery with these freaking filters and I'm guilty of that by the way I'm not even gonna hey, front how about like when you when you post and you take selfies or like it's filters yeah. like so often yeah that then you walk by the mirror and go god what is wrong what? with the today mirror? I'm tired this like lighting is no good it's, yeah. yeah I'm so tired today <laughs> it's like no that's really what you look like but at the end of the day you know you shouldn't be comparing yourself but there is a respect factor in my opinion right if you're a woman that does not does not partake in any type of uh, watching porn with your, your your husband and you think it's cheating well if you have a conversation with him and he's doing it I'm not saying he's cheating on you because he's doing that but obviously he's disrespecting your wishes so that's a conversation you need to have with him to say why are you doing this right is it grounds for divorce look I'm not here to say what you yeah. should or shouldn't do I know that I knew someone that um, thought that that was cheating and she was yeah. hysterically crying my husband was cheating on me and I'm like with who it's like he was watching porn I maybe I'm I'm a little bit more new school possibly or I, I don't know. I, I could see the disrespect if I had asked him not to do that, but I don't think that's cheating. I just do not. I just think that's it's disrespectful. I think it's interesting because like the old school is more open and the yeah. new school is more reserved. But I, I but I wonder if it's because of the exposure of all these things, you know? I think it's not. I think it's a maybe a combination of the protection. I think parents have really gone in the in into protection mode instead of preparation mode, and I think many of us like Gen Xers and stuff like that. We came from we're the least protected generation right. ever. We were exposed to scary movies, like bad words everywhere, like oh, yeah. smoking at whatever age. Yeah. Like we were exposed to so many things, and I think that those those parents raise their children differently in a more protective environment you know saying oh i don't want that movie on they're too young or that kind yeah. of music or being a little bit more protective so i think that these are the this is a generation that's now getting married and they're like traumatized by some of these things that men do and yeah. i think that's the hard thing about i it. mean i can see that point and then my my the other point i know we talked about this on previous episodes that you know some on some things though you know the only fans girls are, are very that's okay and you know being a stripper is okay so i see what you're saying and i see that exposure that protection however i also see the exposure on social media because a lot of these young kids are being raised by youtube let's just yeah. be honest i go to dinner a parent hands their kid you know the the ipad and they don't want to deal with the kids so guess who's raising the kids not you it's the ipad yeah. and so i do think there's a lot of exposure that's happening currently if, even with the the generation before us after us and then their generation yeah because i think that the exposure is is like yeah. is like like they, no they other go, they like can no type other. in anything and see and everything. find out everything and literally see everything, everything. Like, i i feel that um with all content you know i watched um i feel like with the content platforms okay yeah that they're the chips are stacked against men and i can only say that because i've mentioned this a million times i raised boys into men yeah and i found it so interesting when i witnessed one of my sons open an instagram account a new account mm. um I, again following nobody this account yeah. was not tied to his old email not the nothing. old phone number Just nothing new, new, new. fresh account and all his entire for you page within that hour was all bikini uh half bikini naked girls. women all of them all of them all of them and a lot of like the only only fans types girls. and everything and I said, what the heck? Let me see yeah. what it's showing you. And it was all that. And we were like kind of laughing about it because I said, oh, my God, it's like the biggest trap of all times. The algorithm because, picked him up on him. Because his age, it's maybe? his age and yep. he's male. Yep. So it fed it to him. So to me, okay, if I open up a brand new Instagram account, I'm not going to get fed all these half-naked men. I mean, and I don't know that you're going to, you know what I mean? For women, but it's even, a little but, different. But you know even if I was, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Even yeah. if I was a 25-year-old woman, yeah. that's not what the algorithm is going to do. But it's absolutely doing it to men. men. So the men are being fed cars and girls. Like, yeah. that's what they're being fed. 
And so you got to also be aware of that, of that, that that's content that they're getting pinged every day. So true. All the time. They're so scrolling true. in the bathroom. They're scrolling everywhere. And here's this beautiful girl and half naked girl, beautiful exotic girl, foreign girl, whatever it is. Whatever it is, yeah. Half naked, bending over, doing all these things. And that can be just as damaging as going down the, you know, the corn, as I say, corn road. Yeah. Um, and having that whole conversation. It's almost like a gateway thing, right? And, I can see And that. like you're saying. They, though, the difference with social media as a content killer, in a sense, is a or relationship killer, is that they can actually DM that girl. Mm. They can actually yeah, FaceTime and that's that exactly girl. the that's exactly, you know, the difference between these days and those days. Meaning, yeah. like, okay, so dad got, you know, Playboy magazine, Hustler magazine. Okay, yeah. cool. That's as far as it went. Or, or you know, or your those grandpa. videotapes or whatever. You know, yeah, like the VHSs. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you have to go to an actual store to buy it. Yeah. I mean, nowadays, it's like, it's it's a dot com away. It is a, you know, an Instagram away. It is, it is accessibility. Everything is literally at your yes. fingertips. Modern days, everything's at your fingertips. So I think that, you know, with this, it'd be a matter of you sitting down with your partner, like, I need you to unfollow, or maybe we get more private settings or maybe you guys are you know a little bit more intentional on who you're following you know because I do know that you know me personally there's people that have actually this has ended their marriage by the way like this particular subject has ended their marriage and I think it's not just this I'm sure there was a lot of things that happened but this is that one thing that just is like I'm done I can't do this there anymore. are way too many of you ladies who feel uh, unworthy. There's yeah. way, way too many of you ladies who are in marriages, beautiful women, that the husbands are not complimenting you. Yes. So if you are sitting there and you're a beautiful woman and you your age is, you know, the years are it's going happening. by and he doesn't ag- just Acknowledge praise you. you in this moment, but yet follow, follow, like, like, comment, comment, oh, you're hot, like, wow, da 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 That's that tough, right? Issue. So you're in the passenger seat of this car of life that he's mm-hmm. driving and you're looking gorgeous, and instead of him looking at you going, wow, babe, I'm so lucky to be with you, or you look so great today, he's rolling down the window whistling at every other person on the street. That's the equivalent of that. Equivalent to that, And so I can see that that would be so, so difficult. I don't know that I could leave my person, Mm -hmm. you know, because of that, but I will say if it bothers you that much, you know, having the conversation like Dahlia's saying, you know, having the tough conversation. I agree. Sitting down and saying, I know you're a man. I know your visual. I know you have needs. I know that whatever temptation, but here's how it makes, makes me, me feel. feel. I don't want to fight with you over it. Yeah. What can we do about this? So do you? Okay. So here's a million dollar question to you. Do you feel that if you caught your husband, you know, you're went to the store, you're coming back, and then he's watching porn? What are your thoughts on that? I don't know that I have thoughts <laughs> other than you're just randomly sitting in the living room doing this. <laughs> like where? I mean. I don't know. Like I'll be like, it's Tuesday at noon. What are we doing? Like, what's happening? I, mean, I don't like, know. Do? I think besides that, you're just here, like having a sandwich. Like, what are you doing? Like, I think that. That's like, would you would you be offended? Do you no, feel like, okay, I don't okay. know. I don't think so. <laughs> I would think. I think I'd be like confused, but you know, I think just the thought of it being like on a television. You know, we live with these like small pocket screens now, and I'm like, really? You like, like couldn't go to the bathroom? Like. I was just walking on the big screen with the surround sound. Like, <laughs> I think I'd be more. Uh, I think I'd be more shocked by the logistics. So of the would whole you thing. be like, "Let's join in"? I, I'm just first kidding. of all, <laughs> I think I'd be more shocked on like the logistics of it all. But then I, I I'd be like, "Wow, the windows are open, the neighbors." Yeah, can right. Up. Like I don't I don't know. I just I I think I can't be phased because of the the generation I come from. Yeah, you know? you know, and for so sure. it's a little bit tough. But I am very respectful and I try to be compassionate towards the women that they're like absolutely no, one hundred percent no. And you know what? If you're a woman of faith, yeah, yeah, and you're Let's in a marriage, and um, your husband, you guys took a vow and all this kind of stuff, you know that's not a godly thing to be doing. It's I a know. Tem- it's a temptation. It's I a know. seed planted. There are things that are being performed um, in these in this content that is not biblical. It is anti the biblical. Yes. It says a lot of things you're not supposed to be doing and stuff like that. So I can see right that uh, even having a a lust for another person, an opposite sex, you don't know that Especially person when you're on screen, but you're lusting after them. There's scripture about that. Look oh it gosh, up. So, so I think you just have to essentially just 
say, hey, I know we've been married five years. I know that we walk down the aisle blissfully and we've been fine. Like we don't fight like, or whatever the situation is. You feel fine. But this is just that one thing that's bothering you. Bothering you. I think you sit down and, and, and you can take it to the biblical side of it. You can sit there and talk to a professional if you'd like. So true. You know, but don't feel unworthy. Don't look at it like it's a measure against you mm -hmm. as a woman or I that agree. you're not beautiful or that or you're not worthy have... or you're not good enough. Yeah. And even if you have a few extra pounds, when you're the only, you know, undressed woman in the room, you're the most beautiful thing in front of him. Mm -hmm. And so just knowing that you have value in yourself, so true. I wouldn't necessarily throw the marriage away over it. Absolutely yeah. not. I just would just, and I wouldn't even see it as a gateway to like, always oh, going to go cheat on me. I think guys do things in the moment like that, like the scrolling and all mm -hmm. that, and it's, there's not much of a thought beyond that. Yeah. But I'm not a man, so I can't tell you that. I mean, and honestly, let's take it to the woman's side too, though, because I, yeah. you know, I, I have these conversations with women that are very close to me, and they're very open about you know them also watching porn. So it's, it's not just a man thing. It's yeah. women also do it. But I think it's just having an understanding and having a open communication, yes. open dialogue with your significant other to say, you know what, this would really bother me because we got married down, you know, the whatever religion or we got we, we got married because of this reason and I think it's you're cheating on me. I, I don't know. I don't necessarily think it is, but if that's your thought processes, I'm not here to tell you otherwise. I think that you need to let him know that this is going to be a big deal. Yeah. Or if he's following certain girls with like big boobs and big butts, you don't like that. He should be respectful of that. And I think in the end, at the end of the day, we talk about this every single episode. I mean, you're a conversation away from clearing anything, yes. really. I think that on the spiritual side, you need to really tackle that the the porn thing like you need to nip that in the butt because that's a gateway you're opening yeah. yourself up for the enemy if we're going to get super woo woo about yeah. it um we're in spiritual warfare all the time yes you literally are powerless at that point um by allowing these things I in agree. right and so there's there's choices to be made for different reasons other than oh i think it's going to ruin my marriage it's like you should probably be thinking beyond that what does this mean spiritually you know there's mm -hmm. things that we're praying for our kids for mm -hmm. we're praying for our dreams our goals so our lifestyle but yet we have this door open over here and we're letting all letting the freaking rats in. and trash and everything in so that's true. what that is um, i agree i think on the front facing side you know social media side that's dangerous in the aspect of the access you know mm. somebody he's seeing him digitally in in, in those adult films like obviously he's not gonna have as much yeah. access unless he goes and looks them up and now he's following them on social so media true. You know, and so I think that th those are the things. It's just that if you're going to build a house that's solid and it's sitting on a great foundation and you're decorating it so beautifully, this, this house representing your marriage and your life, but you're going to create these doors that mm. lead to dark places, um, but yet still act surprised when dark things enter into the space. It's just common sense. You got to clean it up if if you can get an agreement with your with your partner. Yeah, so true. Yep. So again, you all, you're only a conversation away from anything, and if it bothers you, you got to tell them nip it in the butt, or you have to stop with the BS as a female if you like to watch porn also because it happens, or as a man or whatever it is you're consuming. You have to remember that you know what. I mean, we are very vibrational beings, and we really internalize the things that we see, we feel, yes. we 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 do so really think about those things and you know and 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 talk about it that's it that's it, that's it. see you so, next time see you next time cheers, cheers.